Hello, RV adventure enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the world of cat scales and how they can play a crucial role in ensuring safety while towing your RV. We'll include everything from downloading and using the cat scale app to how to approach the cat scales and what the cat scale information gives you and what it doesn't give you. using the cat scales easier you're going to want to download the cat scale app just go to the app store and type in cat scale and you'll see the way my truck app and the cat scale locator downloading both of these will only take a minute once you have them downloaded open the cat scale app first Read through and then click Agree for the licensing agreement. From here, you can click the Way My Truck App button. And if you already have an account, you can just log in. If you don't have an account, you can click the Create One Here button at the bottom of the screen. You will be requested to put in your name and your company name. I made up one. Email address, mobile number, and create a password. You'll next be prompted to put in a credit card number. Now you're all set up and ready to go. From the CatScale app, you can click the visit CatScale.com. Here you'll find lots of information including directions on how to weigh. This would include how to weigh both trucks and trailers as well as other RVs. Also on the Cat Scale app, you can click Find a Cat Scale and then click Near Me Now and it will give you a list of different Cat Scales in your vicinity. Once on a Cat Scale, you can click the Way My Truck app and put in the location of the Cat Scale. Typically, it will list the Cat Scale you're at and it just asks you to accept. As you can see in this simulation, it lists the Cat Scale I'm located at and it asks me to accept it. Once I've accepted it, it then wants me to confirm my information. Then you'll be prompted to accept the payment, and then just wait a moment. The results will be sent to your phone. You also receive the results in your email. Also in the Way My Truck app, you can click on History, and you'll see all of your ways. If you click on one of these ways, you'll get all the specifics, and you even have an option for a PDF printout. The cat scales are easy to find with the big yellow signs and are typically found at truck stops. Pull forward slowly and as you do you'll notice there are three plates outlined in yellow paint. You want to pull forward so the steer wheels or the front wheels of your tow vehicle are on the first plate, the drive wheels of your tow vehicle are on the second plate, and the trailer wheels are on the third plate. Now, let's talk about the information we get from the CAT scale. We can cross-reference the CAT scale with the sticker found on the door jam of your tow vehicle. You can check the steer axle weight, the rear axle weight, and combine those to compare it with the gross vehicle weight rating to make sure you haven't gone over any of your weights. You can also check the GVWR for your trailer to make sure you haven't gone over your trailer's weight. This is usually found on a sticker on the side of your trailer. If you so choose, you can also determine the hitch weight, or in other words, the weight the trailer is putting on your truck using the CAT scale. To do this, weigh the truck without the trailer. Then weigh the truck with the trailer attached. The second weighing is only three or four dollars. So bring your trailer with you and just park it when you're weighing only the truck. Now it's time to compare both tickets. Take the one with your trailer attached and add up the steer axle weight and the drive axle weight and compare that to the 
some of the steer axle weight and the drive axle weight with just the truck. The difference between these two is your hitch weight. Let's take a moment to discuss what information the CAT scale doesn't give you. The CAT scale does not give you information about the weight on each individual tire of your trailer and your truck. Also, if you have a trailer with two or three axles, it will not give you the weight on each individual axle. From my experience, and in my humble opinion, if you pack your trailer and truck properly and balance the load, as well as set up your trailer so it's level and attached properly, and give yourself a little margin of error on your weights, this really shouldn't be a problem. If you found anything in this video useful, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up. Have a great day, guys.